Loof Trousers on the PC. I'm playing this on my WinBook Windows 8.1 tablet PC. One gig of RAM, which is more than enough to play Loof Trousers, and let's be honest. It's a <sighs> Pretty sure this is a mobile game, or used to be a mobile game. How do I reset everything? I kind of want to reset everything. Well, we can try that. We can replay the tutorial. The game doesn't have a lot of controls, not that you need them. Press up to rise. Use the arrow keys to turn left to turn counterclockwise, right to turn clockwise. X to fire. I'm playing with a gamepad here, an Xbox 360 gamepad. Let go of up to stall. Which is a lot which I love to death, because you can do crap like this, spinning in the air. Did I get points just for stalling like that? Let go of up to stall. I'm stalling. Anything else? Stop firing to repair when damaged. Let's take some damage. Then we can stop firing when we take a hit. See? Auto repair. Okay. Basics. So you saw me hold up to boost like that. You can also press X, right? You can also press X to boost. So yes, yeah, so you can press up to boost. You just press the fire button. This game is basically an Atari game. It reminded me a bit of that Two Tigers arcade game that I haven't played on this channel because it's an arcade game. But I had so much fun playing that when I was a kid. This kind of gives me that same vibe. The whole tiny, the whole tiny plane whipping around all over the place, firing, <laughs> taking down ships. It's great. Let's play this game the way it was meant to be played, and that is getting a uh, chain combos for massive amounts of points until we die. Let's get as many points as we can, because we kind of want to see if we can get some more crap. In fact, we kind of want to end this tutorial level, because we want to restart everything, I want to say. Let's end it here. Let's just get ourselves killed. <laughs> okay. Okay, so how do I reset everything? Yeah, I kind of want to reset everything. Customize. Well, let's, let's stick with our default, because I don't really... Kill 20 enemies in total, kill 40 fighters in total. This will be easy. Okay, let me. I'm curious if I can restart the whole game. It won't let me restart everything. Which is fine, I guess. Because I already know how to do the tutorial. Okay, so we're done. Back. Okay, so let's kill 20 enemies in total. Game also wants us to kill 40 fighters in total to unlock the next thing. You can see our experience level there at the bottom of the screen, so let's do it. This is basically just a research stream, but this game cooperates very well on the weakest computer I have. Well, not the weakest. I have some old laptops I probably need to get around to using. Like, I literally have some Pentium 3 laptops lying around here. And I'm pretty sure that won't play this. <laughs> but it plays Civilization 3, so there's that. Even has a CD-ROM drive and everything. Okay, we're in trouble. Remember, I gotta kill 20 people. So let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so I killed nine. Kill 40 fighters in total. We'll see what we can do. We're gonna press up. This game is this game is so addictive. It's all about that one more, one more, one more run. <laughs> Sometimes you'll do pretty well. You'll do way better than you expect, and that's always good. So let's just stick with the basic plane. Then we'll switch to other planes later on. Up in the clouds. Okay, let go of the fire button so I can heal myself. See? That little red, uh, that little uh, colored circle around my character is, is my life meter. I guess it's somewhat intuitive. I prefer a life bar, but that's just me. Kill 20 enemies. It's kind of hard to get some of these ships sometimes, but it's a lot of fun to kind of maneuver your plane into position to get that big hit. Whoops. But I got my 20 fires in total. Unlocked homing missiles. You have homing missiles? One more time. Kill a battleship, kill 40 fighters in total. It should be easy. Because we already have 39 of the 40 we need to unlock the next thing. Where's the next fighter? The runner somewhere. There they are. That's a ship. They say to kill a battleship, not a regular ship. There we go. 40 fighters killed. If you're talking about bang for buck, I spent like 
20 hours playing this game. I've played this game in five hour sessions. It is insane how much time I've played. I've been playing this game. This will not be a five hour marathon though. God, I'm pretty sure if I were doing a charity stream, this probably would be part of it. Ow! I can easily go. I can easily go four hours of this game. Starting from scratch. By the way, I'm playing. I bought this game off of Steam, but this tablet does not have Steam, <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be fun. So it plays well with other PCs, which is good to know. Here's my battleship. Yeah, stay away from those guns. Yeah, it'll rip you up, Jim. <laughs> it'll rip your lungs out, Jim. Uh, explode on death for more impact damage. We'll get to those later. So what do we get next? Uh, let's see. Hangar. We could customize our plane, but right now we're just sticking with the original setup. Kill enemy eight, kill 80 enemies in total. Now, what else can I do? Let's stick with the basics for now. Okay, so every time you die, you end up going back to the title screen, but you don't really need to be able to do very much. You're in and out very quickly in this game. I think one of the reasons why it's so addictive is because when you die, you're like you're right back in the game. It takes no time whatsoever. So you don't mind dying. And you get so much stuff when you die sometimes. Because you're always... The, the progression in this game is really fantastic. Because you're always building towards some new, interesting gear that you just gotta try out. So that's why I play this game for so long. Because every time I die, I'm always getting something interesting that I have to try out. Even if it's not that good, I know the next piece of gear that I want is right around the corner. And I love that. And I died again. <laughs> so yeah, I don't mind dying. Because I made progress even though I died. Let's go to the hangar. Okay, let's customize. Okay, we, there's a lot of stuff we haven't unlocked yet. We've unlocked plenty so far. Well, balance engine, super boost engine, gungeon, propels using bullets. I gotta show you that. That's amazing. Let me show you that. Keep everything else the same. So we'll make little changes every now and then. We'll, then we'll unlock more stuff a bit later. Ready to go. Press up to launch. To rouse. So look at that. We're using bullets to propel our ship. Look at that. So we can shoot out of both ends. <laughs> How great is that? So I'm pressing, I'm holding up, and I'm shooting bullets to propel myself. It's kind of clunky, but you know what? It works. That's kind of a warthog feel to it. If you're familiar with that kind of crop dust it's not a crop duster jet but it's so ugly because basically it's like the kind of jet you would make if you were I guess if you were defending the homeland and you were getting shot at by a bunch of you know by a bunch of German fighters I guess that might be the kind of that warthog might be the kind of thing you need I think it was like for bombing runs I forget I'll double check See, look at this look at this shooting out of both ends how great is that Of course, I, of course, I can still heal myself because I'm, I'm not shooting technically. I'm shooting out of my rear end, but I'm propelling myself. So I can heal myself pretty easily if I just hold down the up button. But again, you're not as fast as you are with a regular. Whoops. Look out. That's an ace. Take out the ace. Take out the ace. Yeah, these things are annoying. But if you, but if you have your, yeah, those things will... Those things will wipe you out in a hurry. But if you have your stall, but if you're able to work your stall game, you're able to like weave around them and kind of do some tumbling, do some uh, somersaults while you're stalling out. You'll be able to uh, take out those aces pretty consistently. If you're good at it, kill a battleship at max combo. That's a very, that's a very specific. Not, I'm not a big fan of highly specific, <laughs> highly specific achievements. Okay, switch out. Oh, hanger, customize. Let's use a regular super boost. Uh, let me check that. Very high speeds, but slow boost turning. Let's see how it works. Let's see what this do. Wow. That's cute. Can't turn very well. But yeah, that's a pretty high boost. So if you got to get high in a hurry, <laughs> this, will, this will do the job. Or if you want to go down in a hurry, it works for that too, I guess. Yeah, it's a pretty good boost. Yeah, so you can start doing crap like this. 
I want to say there's an opt there's like an optimal way to get the highest bonus. I forget what it is, but it requires some uh, enemy spawning manipulation. So I'm curious how that's gonna work. Because one of the hardest things to do in this game apparently is to get a zeppelin to show up, but you have to take them out on the highest difficulty level. So when you get when you when you go up and experience a lot and you've unlocked most of the game, it gets pretty hard to unlock those uh, battleships. Okay, fully healed again. <laughs> Regenerating health, always great. Okay, let's see if we can take out this dude. Where's the ace? Where's the ace? There he goes, there he goes. Did I get him? Did I get him? No, I didn't. There he is behind me. There he is, there he is, there he is. See, if you stall out, you might be able to spin around and... While you're flying in one direction... Kind of like that. Let me just show you that. Fly in one direction like this. Then while you're stalling out, spin around. Take him out from behind. Love doing that. It's not exactly like Smash TV, but the ability to float, the ability to stall in one direction, kind of float backwards, then shoot at a dude behind you. It's so satisfying. I love it. Like the mechanic, this very simple mechanic they got going on here, where you're like you're just stalling out and just shooting in one direction while you're floating in the other direction. Absolutely love it. Whatever they did to tune it is really amazing. I gotta give them all the credit in the world for making that work. It's not very, it's not like super physics heavy, but it kind of reminds me of Joust in the sense that there's just enough physics going on to really give you that amazing sensation of just kind of floating through the air. <laughs> so I always love how they made that work. They tuned it just right. Okay, so we'll do a couple more. Let's go back to the hangar. Now, Super Boost was fun. We'll, we'll switch different weapons too, don't worry. We got plenty of different weapons. Yeah, we got a few new weapons we're going to want to try out. Underwater. An underwater engine, no water damage, more cloud top damage, slower acceleration. So if you want to bounce along the surface of the water, uh, that'll do it. Check out the bottom of the screen right there where it says uh, kill a battleship. We need to kill a battleship eventually. Kill a blimp to unlock this mission. Kill an ace at max combo. It's very specific. Did I kill a battleship already? Because I think it seems to have, that that achievement seems to have disappeared. Anyway. We're the penguin. Wah, wah. We can also ram into ships, by the way. Again, see, we got like a, so we got a little rot, I got a little rudder at the bottom. So it's not particularly fast, and it, we do more. And if we're in the clouds too long, we take more damage like that. But if we stay on the water, we don't take any damage, which is good if we want to skim along the surface and hide from bullets. Because if we skim along the surface like that, we end up hiding from enemy bullets. And since we're not taking damage while we're underwater, it's even better. See, I love taking out those ships. See, look at the water that kicks up. That's amazing. I love it. Got him. Oh, whoa! I think I might want to stick with this one. Let me see if I can get a battleship eventually. So they'll show up. Event. They'll show up eventually. I think we have to take out a few. I think we have to take out a few um, boats before they'll show up. So look at that. Skipping along the water. I love this. <laughs> Come on, look at this. Kind of wish I can I can convey the sensation I'm feeling as I'm bouncing on the water like that. I love it. Uh, got one of the ships. Here's another one. Ah, 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 whoa! Okay, they're circling like gnats. We got a problem. Again, we're not particularly fast, but well, that's a that's not a battleship. Look out, look out. See, I'm safe-ish, but eventually I bounce off the water, so you know how it is. Gonna die, yep. That was not a battleship, I wanna say. Okay, that gives you some idea, because you can ram into them too, which is kinda weird. I'll show you that later. Because, like I said, kamikaze is a legitimate strategy in this game. Down for the hangar. Don't wanna take off yet. Okay. Uh, no more, yeah, so I, have, so I have four types of motors. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Let's try a different kind of laser. I got a laser knight. Continuous beam pierces enemies. So let's just go back to the original engine. Let's look at the original engine, and then we'll go down and check out this laser beam we got. Pierces enemies. Slow turn while firing, but it pierces enemies. That's going to be interesting. Kill a blimp? I have to kill a blimp now? It's going to take forever. We'll see how it goes. You got a chance to see how the uh, progression system works, and that's kind of great. 
So you can see some of the achievements you have to do to unlock some of this stuff. Look out. There we go. I wonder if the achievements are based on the type of ship you have. Because remember, each ship has its own nickname based on the parts you use to equip it. <laughs> I was using the penguin earlier, which is, like I said, it's that little rudder at the bottom. So you can, so you won't take any water damage. Like I said, this thing pierces enemies, but it's slow to turn. Once you're turning, once you're firing, it's slow. But it's pretty fast if you do like this. Whoops. Look out, look out. But once you're firing, you can't really turn around, so you better aim it properly. <laughs> kind of want to do that again. Let's kill a battleship. You might not be able to kill a blip. Like I said, once you turn around like this, then you can kind of point it in the general direction of an enemy to wipe them out pretty quickly. If you aim it right. There's a bit of finesse to that. Of course, there's an unlikely amount of finesse to the stalling mechanic in this game, which is why I'm still playing this. <laughs> I think if you didn't have the stall mechanic here, I don't know how good the combat would work. Look out, look out. Got the, got the boat. I wonder how this would work with the, uh, with the butt fire. Remember that little, uh, the, the bullet propeller? I'm wondering how this would work with that. Be somewhat interesting. Not dead yet. Couldn't take him out with the laser. I tried, but couldn't take him out. So basically, you gotta keep moving, otherwise those turrets will shoot you down. Hanger. Whoops. Down. Okay, uh, let's see. Spread. Five shots per five shells per shot with heavy kickback. Spread gun. <laughs> Good old-fashioned Contra-like spread gun, huh? So the missions are different depending on the ship you've equipped. So I have, I've used a spread rouser pretty often, but not an often enough, apparently, to unlock something else. Okay, so I have to beat a blim with a spread rouser to unlock a mission. Okay, but for now, let's just kill the 30 enemies in one game. Yep, spread gun. Remember, it has, remember it has some uh, boost. Watch this. See, it keeps you upright. See? <laughs> so let me show you that. Let's go towards the clouds for a little bit of a reference point. Here we go. So it'll keep you higher for a longer period of time, which I love. Because of that kickback. Let's see if I can go up like this. Ow, ow! So that is always going to be fun. Because you can get that uh, recoil action going on. Yep, max combo. So now we're on, we've got a score multiplier going on. Kill 30 enemies in one game. Easily done with this spread gun. Okay, we got an ace here. Give me a second. That's like a bit more effort. Where'd he go? There he is. I got him. I got him. These little these little planes are really good for building up your combo meter, but these aces, you know, are a bit harder to take down. Look out. Not dead. <laughs> Took out the ace. Barely survived that. Ah, ah, another ace. Yep. And the battleship. Not going to go well. But I completed that mission. Okay, so what do I get? Hanger. Whoops. Kill three boats while undamaged. Should be able to do that, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, switch to another gun. Missiles. Homing missiles. Maverick. Kill two battleships in one game. Not easy. Maverick. Yep, four homing missiles. Look at that. Okay, see so yeah, how we do. But you have to kill them all undamaged. It's going to be interesting. Where are the battleships? That's going to be the question. Remember, you can only shoot four at a time. Ow. Don't get cocky. One, two, three, four. See? Homing missiles. Skim along the ground, maybe. Yeah, they take a, they take a, they have a bit of a wind up to them. So yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, they got a, they got too much of a wind up. Guess they aren't as useful as I was hoping. They aren't fast homing missiles. 
See that? <laughs> they eventually swerve around the they swerve around those tiny ships, so it's not great. It might be useful against ships though. Yeah, another weapon that's not as cool as you might have hoped. How about those boats? Aim for the boats. Still not dead yet. Well, these, these things have terrible aim. Hey, look out! These things have terrible aim. These things do not have good aim. It's very disappointing. See? Barely even aim these things. I'm gonna kill two battleships with these things. Yeah, it's not good. Just gotta get close to them, I guess. Ow. So I can barely even hit these ships. It's terrible. And they're slow, too. These things aren't as useful as I would have hoped. Let's see how quickly I can die here. See, these guys can barely even point in the right direction. It's ridiculous. Let's try and get creative with these things. See, you can't even hit the battleship with these things. Look out. Yeah, maybe if they were stronger, they might be more useful. Okay, uh, let's switch to another one. Okay, we're out of weapon types. All right, so we're going back to our original. Uh, let's see. We'll mix it up a lot more in the next video. I just wanted to show you variations on the originals. Okay, here's a more health, slower movement. That's just all body armor. I'll do one battle with this. You get to see how it works. Kill 100 enemies in total with this thing. I would have done that by now. Or we can kill a battleship. We'll see what happens. This thing is slow, but it can take, it can take some damage. Which means you might, be able to run, you might be able to run into some enemies too, which will help. Just kill 100 enemies if you can. In the meantime, we can still do our stalling tricks. Against these small ships to get our combo up. Get our combo meter up. What's the maximum? 16? 14? You just get a boost, spin around, 19. Okay, 20 is the max. So, multiplier of 20 is the max. See, again, I can take I can take, I can take a hit, so. Might be more useful against those battleships, I guess. Remember, 100, remember 100 enemies have to go down eventually, so. Maybe not, not in this one run, but eventually over time with this, with this particular ship. Here come the battleships. Okay, I saw that. Yeah, there's the ace. There's the ace. So again, he took a shot right to. Yeah, I took a shot right to the face, and I beat him. New high score, dude. So that multiplier helped. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! That wasn't what we wanted. So I can stay away from that ace for a while. There he goes. I got you, boy. Hanging around those battleships isn't gonna help me out though. Uh oh, here comes here comes here comes the uh, here comes the yeah we got a blimp showing up which is very bad timing. We got a battleship down there. Never beaten a battleship before. Wait, did I get him? Not yet. They yeah, don't ram it. You'd probably take probably take the probably take the heat, but don't ram it. Darn it! I finally got a blimp to show up. Okay, let's see if we can uh, beat the ship again. Did way better than I expected. Really, how many uh, enemies did we beat? 50? We managed to get the blimp to show up. That's good. That's way better than I expected to do. I didn't think I'd be able to do that well. Okay, let's move along. See if we can get some more ships to show up. We can spin around. We can stall and we can do the stall and spin. <laughs> the old sit and spin. Here we go. We'll be fine. That. 
You know, those high speed jets are always going to be a problem. They don't do too much damage usually, especially to a big old warthog like me. Our ship goes down. Look out! Yeah, not good. Okay, but you get the idea. I can take I can take some damage. So that's good. Now let's let's kill a hundred enemies in total. Maybe we'll kill a battleship in the process. So we'll kill about twenty. Was it twenty three more enemies? Twenty three more enemies. We'll take them out. So we'll see what happens when I unlock the next achievement. I might be able to bring down a battleship in this video. We'll see how it goes. I was hoping to bring down a blimp. Because I was hoping I'd be able to tolerate the gunfire. We'll see how it goes. So if you survive the com if you survive the combo, if you survive before your combo times out, all the points you've earned get that multiplier. You can see the multiplier over there in the top right hand corner of the screen. So if you're going for points. Okay, there we go. Got him. Okay, that's one. That was a tiny ship, though. Okay, they're, they're re-aiming. If we can time it right, we might be able to weave through these bullets and do a lot of damage like that. Head-on damage. And there are uh, upgrades here that will allow you to uh, do lots of head-on damage. Kill 100 enemies in total. Stay alive. Now let's uh, weave down and shoot that battleship. There we go. Not good. Not good aim. Lay out, lay out, lay out. Okay, we're good here. Got him. Got a battleship. Of course, the ace shot me down in the meantime. A lot of activity going on this screen with a halfway decent frame rate. So I killed the battleship and 100 enemies total. Pretty good, huh? I have to kill a blimp to complete that mission. Okay, so we'll do a couple more. Let's see. Melee. No impact damage, but less health. I'm curious how this is going to work. It's been a while since I've used it. Killed 30 boats in total, so I need to kill 12 more boats. Let's see how this works. Might need a higher speed. Uh, might need a higher speed motor, but we'll see how that goes. Yep, high melee damage. Less health, though. So you can't take many you can't take many shots from bullets. So we can ram these guys. We do we do more damage when we ram them. That seems to be the strategy here. Whoops, I got. Maybe if, that's right. If I combine this with the penguin, yeah, let me combine this with the penguin. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, uh, kill thirty boats in total. Watch this. We're gonna combine this with the penguin. We're gonna mix things up a little bit. Combine this with the uh, underwater jet. We're gonna call this one Jaws. No water damage. We'll be able to we'll be able to skim along the ground and take out those boats. That should be fun. Okay, watch this. I think this achieve I think this achievement is for this body type. That's probably what's going on. You're using this body type to complete a mission. Got him. So skim along the ground so we won't take too much damage because we aren't taking any water damage here. Look out, look out. Got him. And of course, you can't you can't take much damage with this uh, stalker body type, but this melee damage body type. But you can skim along the water to keep from taking too much damage and avoid bullets, of course. Good. So maybe uh, eight more boats. Is that how it works? That's two of them. Uh oh. We got a problem here. I'm not going to be able to take out a battleship. We'll take out five more boats. You see, I like this variation. So again, you always want to try different kinds of different kinds of combinations. See how useful they seem. A lot seem really overpowering, but none are too overpowering, I want to say. But some are good for a challenge if you want to challenge yourself. Got it. So I guess I can get all my health back while I was underwater. Apparently. Killed all the boats. So I can take out a battleship. Look at that combo meter. Yep, look at your boy go. Okay, here comes the uh here comes the Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> so those aces had lasers. That wasn't cool. 
So I got a new body. Drop bomb store health regen. Hover, almost no gravity. Yeah, you might want to see that one eventually. Okay. Whoops, back. So we're going to go back to normal here. Got a new one. Uh, down. Customize. Okay, so we got melee. We got a nuke. Explode on death. Kill five battleships in total. That might be another way to do it. More impact damage. So let's see how it flies. So you're carrying a nuke. So it does more damage on melee attacks, and eventually it blows up. So if you're able, you might be able to take out a battleship with this thing. Of course, you'll end up dying in the process, but you got unlimited lives, right? You can't swim. So it'll be useful against big flying planes and maybe battleships, maybe if you know if you know you can bring them down. If you know you've weakened them enough to bring them down when you dive bomb into them. I have to get the combo up to 20 before the blimp shows up. So I want to say I have nuked a battleship. I want to say I've nuked a blimp before by accident. Oops. Here's my combo meter. What to say? Sag it. Okay, here we go. Battleship time. Over there. Wow, pretty good aim. Whoop! There you go. Took out the battleship. <laughs> see, I see. I took out two battleships there. <laughs> Let's get a couple more. See, this is cool, right? <laughs> probably a few more battleships. Probably a few more uh, types I have to practice with. You get to see one of everything. Then we'll get to see some combos. We'll get to see some wilder combinations in the other videos. If we do. If we do some more. Okay. Come on, I can hit these. See, I lost my combo. Gosh darn it. For some reason I couldn't hit a single one of these ships. Okay, we got a problem. Fully healed. No, I'm fully healed. Do you love the regen? Come on, I can get one more of these ships. Got one. Okay, combo's still going. You just have to hit one of the tiny ships and you keep it going. Yeah, just hit one of those and it keeps going. That's where you get that big money. Yeah, let's get those uh, battleships. There we go. So we're going to take down one of, at least one of these battleships. See? <laughs> Three battleships down. <laughs> Two more to go. Dumbo. I'm still getting a lot of experience points, by the way. So again, really good. Prog one of the better progression systems I've seen in a game. Probably one of the best. Just you just want to keep like in Dead Cells. Like you just want to keep going for hours, just to see what you can do and how well you can do with all the different variations on these ships. You're constantly getting new variations. So some of the challenges are annoying, but you can kind of skip around them. The game doesn't the game doesn't really pin you in unless you unless you start having to get some of these blimp destroying missions, and that's where things start to really sort of that's when you hit really a skill ceiling. That's where I hit my skill ceiling after about four or five hours. I realized that yeah, um, I'm not able to beat a blimp. I'm not able I'm not able I'm not able to consistently generate those blimps either. I'm having so much fun practicing with my you know high score challenges, you know, with these different kinds of ships. Like, how many different ways, like, what's the highest score total I can get with this particular ship? This particular formation, with this particular combo, with this particular loadout. Love it. Okay, that E went down. We're almost at, we're almost at max. That's max. Or my aces. Look out. Got him. That's a big point bonus for that, taking out that ace, that max combo. Okay, we got a battleship over here. We might be able to take out another one of them. Again, I don't know when these things start to spawn. Kaboom, that's two ships. Yes, I got both ships. <laughs> hey, if you know two ships are coming, you might as well take the hit. Take one for the team. Okay, uh, we're almost done. Let's see what else I can do here. I got a bomb. Okay, so that's almost all of them. Luft bomber. Drop bombs with a slower health regen. Very curious how this will work. Bomb five boats. Ow. Some of the power-ups seem to be are similar enough to your original lineup, to your original body type, or your original, you know, gun type, 
that it's that you don't really lose anything by choosing a different body type to complete one of these sub missions. Okay, these bombs are very see the see these bombs right here? They seem to drop randomly. Press the fire button. And there goes the bomb. So it's very hard to aim this thing. I'm gonna have to get really close to a ship. Let's get real close to a ship and go straight down. See, I got one. <laughs> that might have been a bomb. I don't I can't tell. Let's see if I can bomb these battleships. Uh, didn't get it. That's a bomb. I don't know if that, how strong is that bomb. Let me practice that. I want to see how strong that bomb is. There's a bomb. Got him. Nope, missed. So I got to work on the uh, angle on that. I think I got one of them. Missed. I think you actually have to be pointing in the right direction if you want that bomb to land where you want it, see? You have to lead it a bit, as you would expect, because it's a bomb. Got that one. Bomb. Nope. Too much forward momentum on that one. Ouch. <laughs> How many ships did I get? Okay, two more bombs. Two more boats, excuse me. You make this work. So this is a, this is a weapon-based... Yeah, this is a bomb body. Silver health regen, though. But it's a bomb body based achievement. So I'll show you what I mean once I get back to the hangar. When I die, basically. Okay. How many bombs? How many ships do I have to take out before I can get the battleship? <laughs> Got him. I don't think that was a bomb run, though. Might have just been a melee attack. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Got him. So I think I timed the bomb there. Go away! You yeah, get these tiny little gnats really give you a lot of uh, combo points. You really get your score chain going. Okay, here's the here's the uh, battleship. Here comes a bomb. Doing better than I expected at this point. There's the bomb. So I got three of the boats. Okay. See that? Uh, see the three achievements here? They're based on the type of gear that we have. So that bomb body that I have right there already has an achievement attached. There's a mission just for this body type. Bomb five boats. Uh, what about this? Whoops, let's go down a bit. What's another kind of gun I can use? Laser. See, if I switch to the Eagle, that means there's a different mission attached to it. Two battleships in one game. So you choose different gear to get different missions for each piece of gear. Okay, what about this? Super boost. Gungeon. Underwater. Hover. Kill ten enemies falling non-stop. That's, a, that's mad fun. We'll do that one later. So you have some idea about what, the, uh, what these missions are about. I don't want to use a random one yet. Up, no more guns. So all we have, so the only other option left is to use this hover. Kill ten enemies falling non-stop. What gun do we want to use for that? How about we want a falling non-stop? Uh, let's see. More health. Let's do that. And what kind of gun do we want? We want a spread gun. Yep. So we're going to kill 10 enemies non-stop with a spread gun. Should be easy, actually, with a spread gun. Watch this. See if I can get a bunch of ships to circle around me. I'm still falling, and I got my spread gun to stay above ground. See? Easy. <laughs> Easily completed that mission. Because I used my spread gun to stay, you know, floating backwards. And because it's easy to target enemies while you're float while you have the spread gun here, so that was easy. If I completed that one, no sweat. So that's but that's but again, you have a hover engine. So let me show you how it works with a regular gun. Uh, so we'll switch in just a second. Random. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see how the hover engine works with a regular gun. Yeah. Okay, we'll switch it up a bit later. Get really creative. Kill three boats falling non-stop. That's actually not so easy. But like I said, this is a hover jet. So you don't fall here. 
It's like, uh, I guess it's like Sonic, I guess it's like Solar Jetman. So look at this. I think I'm falling forever. Like a Amy Lee from Evanescence. Look at this. Look at this. So you can go, you can go, you can go nuts with this thing. It's a, remember, it's a hover engine, not a regular engine. So stalling works differently. This might be interesting against. This might be interesting against some of the blimps. Yeah, we're doing well. Ow! The momentum system is really interesting with this hover engine because of how you fall. Ah, got him. Yeah, with the spread gun, this would be really interesting. Actually, I gotta practice that. Which actually, I used the practice. I used the spread gun with this thing a few seconds ago. So look at this. Look at my combo meter go. Because they got all these tiny little shifts. Okay. Let's see if I can stop my rise. Yeah. Don't stay in the clouds. Uh, uh. Is there an ace around here? Yeah, lost my combo. Oh well. I'll take the points. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, here we go. Boats. Uh, here come the aces. Here come the aces. When you're hovering, you need a bit more speed. But I killed a few boats falling, falling non-stop. That works pretty well. Hangar. We got a bit of everything. Some of you are excused to stop the video. We'll come back for some more. Don't worry. This was going to be mad fun. Play five games for random loot, huh? I don't have a randomizer over there. Okay, so we'll come back later. Ah, okay. See how a random setup works.